No way! No! That was a sneak peek of how my Yinlin pulls went. I'll put the entire thing at the end of the video. Today I want to talk about how you should be building and using your, hopefully, newly acquired Yinlin. She uses the mechanical abominations drops, so make sure you farm for those before anything else. For the ideal weapon, her signature rectifier is the obvious best in slot, but the standard 5 star rectifier, if you have it, is a good second place. The best 4 star weapon for her is the augment rectifier, but realistically, any of them would be good. Except this one. This one sucks. You have a couple of decent options for echo sets, but it's essentially the same thing as in my Kalcharo guide video, which you should totally go watch by the way. Best in slot is the Electro set with the Lingering Tune set at a close second. However, because she is most likely going to be the sub DPS in your team, the Moonlit Cloud set is not a bad option. She will trade in some of her damage for a quicker ulti, and give more attack to her main DPS. For talents, make sure to prioritize her Forte Circuit and ulti, with her skill and intro skill second and basic attack as least important. Also, unlock these talents for her ASAP because it's extra damage for free by just having them. Any wave band for this character is very good, but for her predominant power spikes, there's her S2 for DPS, S4 for buffing the team, and S6. The combo for optimal damage output is straightforward. You want to play around her passives. The idea is to affect the enemy with Sinner's Mark, transform it into the Punishment Mark, and then use Forte Circuit. The ulti is completely independent of the marks, so you can use it whenever. After her main combo is done, you can switch her out and you'll get her coordinated attacks. The way we activate the Sinner's Mark is by doing one of the following. One, hitting enemy with a normal basic attack, just one is enough, two, hitting the enemy with intro skill, or three, hitting enemy with the ulti. Ideally, you would use her intro skill, but if you don't have that charged up, just do a basic attack. Now we're going to transform that sinner's mark into punishment mark by using this skill. Her skill has two parts, one to activate execution mode, and one to end it. After using her skill 1 and entering execution mode, your basic attacks will be empowered, and when an enemy that has the sinner mark on them is hit by one of your basic attacks, the mark will transform into the punishment mark. Now it's a matter of timing, because the punishment mark will only last for 18 seconds, whereas the sinner's mark will last until Yinlin is swapped out. So to get the most damage out of it, you have to use her Forte Circuit immediately, or at least as soon as possible. Once you do, it'll deal big damage when activated, and afterward, you'll have the coordinated attacks for your team. So after using her Forte Circuit, you're free to swap her out. If you are running her as a sub-DPS, you would do this combo ideally before your main DPS takes the field. Her best team synergy comes from Calcharo being run as the main DPS. And you can use anybody for support. You could do Verena, Baizi, or Yanchen. If you don't have Kalcharo, maybe you plan on pulling for him, don't have him yet, you can use Yonwu as a sub in until you get Kalcharo. Alternatively, if you plan on running Yinlin as main DPS, you could use any other sub DPS in the game. No sub DPS in 1.0 is going to 100% synergize with her anyway, so just use who you think is the funnest. When using Yinlin, make sure to take the weapon effect into consideration because playstyles may vary depending on what weapon you choose. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Here's a full clip of my polls. This should be it. <sighs> I know I'm, I'm winning this 50-50, buddy. I'm, I'm winning this 50-50. Oh, I didn't have Tawachi. I'll take that. Ha <laughs> ha. 
いつものおしゃべりタイムね今回のお悩みは No way! No way! No way! No way! そんなに驚かないでちょうだい No way, dude! What? No way! Dude, the puppet is holding your legs up, dude! No way! No way, dude! Oh my! I love this game. Holy. Take a double Tauchi, double five star. Can't get any better than that, dude. No way, dude. Holy crap. That is crazy.